Revelation 968. From the 17th of June 1939. Jesus suffering on the cross. Earthly body. Jesus suffering on the cross is for many people an inexplicable process and not seldom cause for doubting his divinity. The Lord suffered unspeakably on the cross, for it was the earthly body that took upon itself all the agonies of the death of the cross and endured immeasurable agonies of death. How could this be otherwise? The Spirit of God had to leave the human shell at the hour of death in order to complete the measure of the suffering of the Son of Man and therefore he did not feel the slightest relief in the hour of death, because only in this way could the work of redemption for mankind be completed, that a human being completely gave up his body shell under the most horrible pain for the guilt of sin of mankind. A man, whose heart was full of love, took the most bitter death upon himself. God was in all fullness in this man, so that his work on earth was a divine work and all power over heaven and earth was his, and yet he gave his miserable body to his enemies who wanted to destroy him. He made no use of his extraordinary power, although one thought by him would have been enough to destroy all who was against him, and his soul wrestled with itself in its agony, and he uttered the words, My God, why have you forsaken me? It was his soul that was still connected to the body and in deepest distress cried out for the father spirit, which in turn had to escape from the human body, should the work of redemption be accomplished, and he emptied the cup to the last drop. No man can measure the greatness of this sacrifice, for it was his soul so blameless and pure, it suffered unspeakably from the unkindness of those who pinned him to the cross for his soul was pure love and therefore one with God, and yet this love was not able to hold back sinful humanity from its purpose. The Godhead withdrew, and man in all anguish of soul, in all distress and anguish, remained behind and died the most painful death on the cross. What suffered on the cross, was human shell, and this shell felt such more than human agonies, and yet the work of redemption could not have been accomplished otherwise, because the love of a human being had to be so great, that he offered himself as a sacrifice for the whole of humanity. And Jesus was the purest God being. Man was unsurpassable in his perfection, because he also contained the Godhead fully and completely in himself. And this pure being gave himself into the hands of sin. He left his body to the servants of darkness, and they were not afraid to touch the purest being and to put an end to his life. And under unspeakable pain, Jesus spoke the words, It is finished, and gave up his spirit. That is, the soul separated from the body, which suffered unspeakably for the love of mankind. Amen.